Hi, my name is Gregory Ivo. I'm currently an intern working at Eclipse IoT, and I'm excited to share with you my project, Scaling Inventory. Before we begin, let's talk about the importance of inventory management and why manual inventory tracking is a thing of the past. Inventory tracking is generally done when things come in and out of a building. When a shipment is received, new inventory is recorded, and when a product is sold, that transaction is also recorded. Businesses which operate with tangible goods always require stock to operate. Since there is only limited supply of space in a warehouse to hold materials, it costs money for them to hold unnecessary stock. A company which is never certain of their current stock can face the loss of opportunity due to not being able to meet commitments. And lastly, no employee wants to go around trying to track down an item which according to the transactions should exist. Companies which do internal manufacturing also face further complexities. How do you track items that are being used internally for manufacturing? Does a manufacturing technician create a new transaction record for each screw used to make a product? In our digital world, key decision makers rely on fast and accurate data flows from the factory floor to business headquarters. All in all, dynamic inventory systems will be and are currently incredibly important for the future of industry. Now for the fun part, the solution. So generally, in terms of IoT, we have a small board which communicates directly to some sort of cloud service. And we can actually have N different kinds of boards communicating to a cloud service. The problem with this is the throughput and bandwidth usage of connecting N devices directly to the cloud, we can uh, simplify it and do some of the processing locally. So if we take these four devices, instead of having direct four direct connections to the cloud, we can use an extra edge agent to aggregate those four connections and then only have one separate connection that bundles all the data from these devices that goes to the cloud. A network would look similar to this. We have three times the throughput as the original drawing, and we have a significant decrease in the amount of actual bandwidth that actually is required to send all this data to the cloud. Here's how the inventory scaling works. On the top of the diagram, we have a cloud server, which will be running Eclipse Streamsheets. Eclipse Streamsheets is a software suite that allows for dynamic dashboard creation and visualizations of data flows in real time. It is a very powerful tool that is extendable with many different technologies. In this project, I leveraged it by using MQTT. Streamsheets, once pulled from Docker, comes pre-installed with Eclipse Mosquito, which is an MQTT broker that we'll be using throughout this entire project. If we move down the diagram, we can see that each factory contains their own edge node, which in this demo are Raspberry Pi 3s, running the Eclipse Mosquito MQTT broker and custom software to bundle and send messages upward. Each factory will then have a fleet of IoT sensors that communicate quantities using MQTT. Sensor number one is a smart bin which uses the weight inside to determine how many items are in the bin. IoT device number two is a smart clicker that upon pushing the button broadcasts an MQTT message which states how many times that button has been clicked. Now I bet you're wondering, how do we orchestrate such a complex network? The answer is IOFOG. Eclipse IOFOG allows us to create a distributed edge compute network or an ECN enabling you to run any microservice on it dynamically, securely, and remotely. This means that this entire network can easily be orchestrated by running a few scripts using the IOFOG CTL tool. Let's see it all in action. Welcome to my desktop. In order to utilize IOFOG, we first need to set up a control plane. Here, I have a control plane set up that has a controller and three agents. Two agents being the Raspberry Pi, and one of the agents being the Cloud Stream Sheet server. Deploying is a matter of typing in IOFOG CTL deploy hyphen F into the file directory. Now let's open it up. And here we can see all the agents in our ECN. The two agents to take important notice to are Home Edge and Car Edge. These are the two Raspberry Pis. And as we can see, 
they're separated by vast distance. In order to communicate, they need to talk over the public internet. Now, let's deploy our microservices. That's very similar to how we have deployed the control plane. We just have to point it to the YAML file, push enter, and IOFOG works to deploy and spin up Docker containers on all the agents in our ECN. Now, let's take a look at one of the agents and see what's running on it. As we can see, there's an IOFOG router Docker container. And this is proof that IOFOG is working its magic. If we wait a little bit longer, we'll notice that the container smart inventory will eventually appear as IOFOG builds a network. And there it is, Eclipse Smart Factory. And that is a, the custom software that leverages the Mosquito MQTT server that we discussed before. Now, let's take a look at the control panel that a factory gets at a local level. This is the local control panel. As we can see here, it is connected to both the local MQTT server and the remote MQTT server. Let's interface with some of our IoT devices so we can see the data dynamically flow into this control panel. So now I'm gonna push some buttons on my IoT controllers. For instance, the clicker here. As you can see, the value goes up when I click the button. Now let's take a look at stream sheets. This is how we're going to see the value of the remote dashboard. Here we have a blank dashboard and we can immediately see in the inbox there are some MQTT messages coming from the two smart factories. In order to take advantage and use this data, all we have to do is grab it and drag it into the spreadsheet. And now we have live spreadsheet data that will change as the MQTT data changes and as more inventory counts get published. Creating a chart is as simple as selecting the results and clicking what kind of chart you'd like. As you can see, these charts actually dynamically update as messages are received from the MQTT devices. Now we're waiting for a message from the remote MQTT server. And as we can see, it came. This is a completely separate pre-packaged piece of data that is a table that we can make. This only scratches the surface of all the things possible with stream sheets. For instance, right now I'm going to create a monitor which will send the MQTT message when one of the levels of inventory becomes too low. So in this example, we're going to look at the dynamic scale and when the level becomes less than three, we'll send a message saying a warning, your TP is low. Writing the if statement in stream sheets works very similarly to Excel. And now if I remove all the toilet paper out of my bin, we can see that message fire right down there. And there's our warning. Here's an example where we leverage StreamSheet's MongoDB capabilities and we're actually able to store every MQT message that was received to a database. And lastly, my favorite feature about StreamSheets is after we create a beautiful dashboard, we can sort of publish it like a website and show the data where it really matters most. Like for instance, in front of your worker's stall in the factory floor, where you can see the exact inventory count as you remove and add objects.
Thank you for watching my first demo, and I'm anxiously waiting for the next one. Bye for now.